Hello everyone, welcome to Babylon Leather's official channel. Today, we're going to make this zip crossbody bag. There are two versions of this bag kit. One that is all top grain leather, called leather bag kit. The other is the remodeling bag kit. The large body piece is this cotton linen. The remodeling bag kit will additionally give to sheets of cotton linen, if there is a mistake when you painting the cotton linen. It can be covered on the large body piece in this way as a replacement material. It should be noted that the two sides of the bag body material is not the same. The narrower side is the bag opening. The wider side is the bottom of the bag. Firstly, let's distinguish the front and back of the materials. The one with larger pinholes is the front side, and the one with smaller pinholes is the back side. The sewing method of the two versions of the bag is exactly the same. Let's demonstrate the sewing methods with the remodeling bag kit. Find this piece. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part, then cut it off. Each time you could measure the thread a little more. The thread is absolutely enough. Thread the needles. Pass the thread through the needle eye. Then pull out a section. Let the needle point to pierce the thread. Pull it tight. Now it is done. Thread the other needle in the same way. Get one of the zipper tapes. Find the marker hole, which is a little larger than other pinholes. Among these three rows of pinholes, only the bottom row has the marker hole. Sew the two rows of pinholes without the marker hole first. Align the zipper and the zipper tape according to the pinhole position. Use a clip to fix it like this. Then start sewing from the other side. Let the two materials front side up. Start sewing from the first pinhole. Let the needle from the bottom to top. Then let the second needle pass through the second pinhole. Pull the two threads. Keep them in the same length. Let the first needle pass through the second pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pull the thread tight. Now, we successfully start the stitching. Then keep sewing with the double needle stitching method. Don't miss any pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. After sewing up each stitch, pull it tight. When swinging the thread by hand, the direction should be consistent. Finally, let's end the stitching and deal with the thread ends. Make a back stitch to reinforce it.
Now let both needles on the material's back side. Let's check the sewn up effect. Now have finished sewing this row of pinholes, there are still three rows need to be sewn. Here is the second row of pinholes to be sewn. The other zipper tape also has two rows of pinholes to be sewn. Note that they are the two rows without marker hole. Let the two needles pass through the gap between the two materials, and then pull the thread tightly. Cut the thread leaving a 3 mm end. Burn off the thread ends with a lighter. Sew up the other three rows in the same way. Let's check the sewn up effect. Then get the belt loop and debuckle. Combine them like this. Note that the semicircle of the debuckle faces outward. Align them to this material by pinholes. Measure the thread to times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Let the two materials front side up. Start sewing, then keep sewing downwards with the double needle stitching method. After sewing up each stitch, pull it tight. When swinging the thread by hand, the direction should be consistent. Don't miss any pinhole. Don't pierce the thread. Pay attention to these points every time you sew. No more hints later. Now we sew up. The middle hole doesn't need to be sewn. Finally, make a backstitch to reinforce it. Now let both needles on the material's back side. Now let if you can't pull out the needle, shake it from side to side a few times while it's in the material. Then pull it out again, otherwise you'll break the needle. Needles on the material's back S. Cut the thread leaving a 3 mm end. Burn off the thread ends with a lighter. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other one in the same way. Take the zipper tape just sewn and align it with the pinholes like this. Let the two materials front side up and the zipper tape is on the bottom. Measure the thread 8 times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Start sewing from the first pinhole. Sew up the whole first five pinholes with the double needle sewing method. Now we are going to sew the sixth pinhole. There is no pinhole on the zipper when sewing the sixth hole position. Pass the needle through vertically.
When sewing the seventh pinhole, it is necessary to thread the needle diagonally because the pinhole is facing the metal teeth of the zipper. Avoid the metal teeth of the zipper. The eighth pinhole is sewn in the same way as the sixth pinhole. Sew to the end. Finally, let the thread end on the back side and end the stitching. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Let's check the two sides sewn up effect. If you bought the leather bag kit, not the remodeling bag kit, note that the wider one is the bottom of the bag. It is placed on one side with the bottom material. The narrower side is the bag opening. It is placed on one side with the zipper material. Let the two materials front side up. Large body piece is on the bottom. If you bought the remodeling bag kit, there are two sheets with the lining of the large body material with the same method as the leather bag to distinguish between the bag opening and the bottom of the bag. There are also two sheets of material with adhesive on the back, which are replacement materials. Now let me introduce several methods to D the bag for a modeling bag kit. The first is the same as the leather bag kit, directly sewn. The second one is painting on the large body material with lining first. Then sew it with the same method of the leather bag kit. Two sheets with lining material of large body material can be painted. If there is a mistake when you painting, it can be covered on the large body piece as a replacement material. The third method is to use other materials as the surface material of the bag. Find the material you are thinking of using as a surface, cut the area you need first, and cut more than you will use. Then let the bottom of the surface material facing up. Be careful to divide the opening and bottom of the bag, otherwise the finished bag will be in the wrong direction. Get the replacement material. First determine the area to be. Then glue the replacement material to the desired area. See if the front is suitable, if not suitable, you can tear down and adjust it. Then trim the surface material to the same size as the replacement material. Look at the effect after trimming. Then get the material with the lining and put it under the surface material. Then divide the opening and bottom of the bag, and we can start sewing. I demonstrate here, without the surface material sewn. Measure the thread for times the length of the sewn part. Thread the needles. Find the marker hole of the large body piece. Start sewing from the marker hole. Let the needle from bottom to top. Note that the large body material fabric side is the front. Then find the marker hole of the bottom material. 
let the needle from bottom to top. Sew up the whole circle with the double needle sewing method. Finally cut the thread and let the thread end on the material's back side. When sewing to the corner, you could sew the materials one by one which will be more confident. If the marker holes can be matched, the sewing is correct. The other way round is to sew the wrong one. Let's check the sewn up effect. Sew up the other side in the same way. Let's check the two sides sewn up effect. Then start installing the bottom studs. First put the screws in from the inside, then hand tighten the bottom studs on the outside, and then tighten them with a screwdriver. Install the four bottom studs in the same way. This wonderful bag is complete now. Organize the shape of the bag. Well, thanks for choosing Babylon Leather. Thanks for watching. Hope you get more skills here.